The Inazuma 11 Victor Road Beta has been out for over 24 hours, and online is already full of tryhards. So I asked my Twitter to help come up with some tips to give to newer players who might be struggling. So here we go, here's 10 tips to get better at Inazuma 11 Victory Road. Our first rule is quite simple, you have to grind. Levels and rarities seem to be really important, and everyone who's a bit sweaty and needs to touch some grass has already increased their level dramatically. What's the best way to grind though? Well, that's probably on ranked mode. Even if you are getting absolutely smashed, you'll still be getting a lot of experience for each match. So it's still worth trying ranked over, for instance, the single player mode. And obviously bear in mind that lobby matches don't give any experience. We have some more tips about grinding spirits later in the video, so stay tuned for those. Our second tip is that the offside rule just doesn't exist in this game, and you want to abuse that. Yes, if you play an offside pass, your opponent does get a bit of a boost to their tension gorge, but it doesn't actually seem to be that consequential. And so you can just kind of negate the midfield by getting your defenders to fire a long pass up to one of your strikers who oftentimes might just have slipped between some defenders and can immediately activate a zone and get a shot chain off. Speaking of which, our third tip is all about shot chains. They are so good in this game and absolutely how you wanna be scoring all of your goals. Even if you're shot chaining with just a direct shot and not another Hisatsu, it's still worth it for the massive boost you'll get. If you don't know how to shot chain, you basically just fire a Hisatsu at one of your other forwards or players, and then you either use a direct shot or another Hisatsu if you've got enough tension, and you fire that at the goal. I think you can maybe shot chain more than once, but I, I haven't done that yet, so I don't know how true that is. But who do you wanna be shot chaining with? Well, let's talk about meta players. Obviously, we're only on day two of the beta, so we don't know exactly who is the absolute best or who will stay as that, but as of right now, it seems like Xanark and Bialong and Sean are your best forwards. We can kind of determine this by looking at the goalkeepers. You've got Mark, Darren, Sam, and Devalen, two of which are fire, Darren is wood, and Mark is earth. Mark seems to be the most common goalkeeper right now, which is why Bialong and Sean are great because they're wind element and so beat Mark. While Xanark is the only earth forward and so beat Sam and Devalen, and what's even better about Xanark is his moves aren't resisted by either Darren or Mark. So those are definitely the players that you want to be putting in your team if you want to try and use the meta team. Also, Jack seems to be a really good defender, but I have no idea how true that is. He just always beats me. All right, let's talk spirits. These seem to be really important, so I'll just give you a basic lowdown. Basically, every player has different rarities, which are like the different ranks they can be. This is different to their level. And you can increase this rank by getting spirits, which you win by winning focus jewels. And whilst you can give a player any spirit, and that will somewhat increase their rank, if you give them a spirit of them, so for instance, if you give Bialong a Bialong spirit, that doubles how many points you get from that spirit. And say if you were to give a growing Bialong, so that's the blue Bialong, if you were to give him a yellow Bialong, which is top Bialong, he will automatically go up to top Bialong. Why are these rarities important though? Well, one reason is that they give more passives. And you want to make sure you're looking at your passives because these can have a big effect on your team. These numbers may look really intimidating and these words may seem really confusing, but try and understand them because if you can build your team in a way where the passives do what you want them to do, that'll really help your odds. At the end of the day, passives are boosts, and so the more boosts you have, the better your team is. And if you want to get more spirits, here's a tip from Aerihun, basically saying that if you can find someone willing to AFK for an hour, you can spam focus interactions against them to farm spirits and tokens. This becomes even easier with item boost passives from characters like Bialong, Aphrodite, and Faye. So if you've got a friend who's willing to just sit there and let you demolish them, then that's a really good way to get some spirits. But let's talk about focus duels for a second. One thing to bear in mind is that you don't get tension for passing out of a duel. You have to actually break through to win. If you're passing, the opponent gets um, some tension, and so it's not really benefiting you. Obviously, you do keep the ball, but make sure you weigh up whether or not that's a worthy sacrifice. You can't just pass to the opponent's goal and just score with a Hisatsu. That's not how an Azuma 11 works anymore. You need to be winning tension. On Twitter, people gave me a lot of focus duel related tips. So I'm gonna put those on the screen. And if you wanna try any of them or use any of them, there you go. Also make sure that you don't forget about your special tactics. I'm saying this because I absolutely do. I never remember they exist. You use them by holding down the L trigger and then pressing one of the face buttons. So like A, Y, X, B, 
be. And these do give you really good boosts, especially your super tactic, which is the one you get at the beginning of a match that's like randomly chosen. For instance, there's one called Invincible Keeper, which makes your keeper invincible for a little bit, which fair to say is quite good in a game that is all about whittling down keepers. So just don't forget that they exist. And my final tip is to do with an exploit that's been found in the game. Wakey here says to always, always press the zone button, which is X, when an enemy is close to your goal in online matches, because people can score just by passing towards the goal if zone is not activated. This is an exploit that's been found where you can just pass the ball into the goal, essentially. So make sure you're activating zone so that, that doesn't happen to you. But there you go. There are 10 tips to get better at Inazuma 11 Victory Road. I hope I have somehow helped you and you can now go on ranked and hopefully beat up everyone or at least get out of caravan rank because that's still where i'm stuck make sure you like and comment if you enjoyed the video and subscribe because we do daily in azuma 11 victory road content here i'll see you guys in the next one bye